Hey, you're here with your girl, Latoya Lavelle. This is We Talk Film, and I have given you five reasons why you need to watch Ripple Bridge. Now, number one, and it's none of these are going to be to do with how he looks, by the way, because I feel like that's what everyone has zeroed in on with this. Number one is going to be, it is an amazing performance. I watched the film and I honestly couldn't believe how much I actually enjoyed it. I love action films. I'm a John Wick fan. I, yeah, I love action, but this action was on another level because I think it's the first one we've seen in a long time where they actually didn't kill anyone. Only one person died and it was not because of the main character. So I absolutely love that. Number two, it was the subliminal undertones of racism that exists. So it was a covert racism rather than the overt racism of, you know, assuming that because it's a black man, it's a drug charge and him trying to play up to the yes sir and no sir and all of that, which I feel like was very relatable to real life for a lot of people. Number three, the storyline. The storyline was epic. It got an hour into the film and I kind of sat there and was like, oh, what's gonna happen next? Cause they kind of wrapped everything up, but they hadn't. There was more. And the more that came, I did not expect. So it had surprises from the beginning until the end. Number four, the punchlines. There were so many times where I sat there and was like, are you being serious? Are you really gonna let that go? And at that moment, he'd be like, nah. Or he would say something else that would make me think, yeah, that's exactly the reaction that I would have. It was realistic. Cause no one's gonna let certain people get away with certain things, especially when it comes to family in my eyes. Number five, as someone that does videography, knowing how to film produce edit direct all of that is a very very hard job so knowing that this person actually directed produced edited and did all the things with this film i think sorry i'm in new york everyone wants to be loud i think that for me was very very I don't know, I loved it. I've had people that have said that they feel like maybe he should have had someone else as like another co 